thick skinned people. We are the people who have thick skin. Like rhinoceros in the jungle, we have the toughest in the land. From the bottom of the mud to the riches of sands, we are the people who see no difference in the color of our skins. In fact, we know that we're the same in this melting pot we're in. Even though we are strong, enough is enough, so together we pledge. For one nation under God, for which it all stands. Standing side by side, my fellow sister and brother man, we are not light-skinned, nor dark-skinned, nor black or white. Not Chinese or Japanese or Indian or ND, so together we fight. For all equality is spread through all human rights. For we are peaceful with actions, but with words we are lethal. For we are one, thick-skinned people. Growing up in St. Louis is definitely interesting because there are like two different sides of St. Louis. And depending on what part of town you live in, it could be rougher than others. The line's really thick and it's, it's a street, it's Del Mar. Del Mar runs directly through the heart of our city. It runs west to east uh, and it divides us socioeconomically. The layout of the land drastically changes. When I got here, it was just something that you just were expected to, to know, and nobody really talked a lot about it. People have been carrying around stuff for a long time. I think that's a big challenge for us, and we're going to have to continue to figure out ways to come together, talk about our differences, instead of pointing at the problem and complaining about the problem and having platforms for the problem, be the solution. It was kind of like an unspoken thing. You knew how it was in St. Louis. It was a time for people to express themselves the best way they knew how, because a lot of people were angry, you know, and a lot of people, when they're angry, the only way they know how to express themselves is to destroy stuff, you know? So it was better for them to create than to destroy. What made me want to work at churches is the people. Churches unifies the community. We donated chicken to the kids that went back to school. We see free haircuts. Welcome to the north side of St. Louis, Walnut Park area. My name is Jason Watson. To the right of us is Mark Twain Middle School, man. I went to that school as a young dude, acting crazy. At Mission St. Louis, primarily I work with what's called the Job and Leadership Training Program. So we want to talk about everything from emotional maturity, financial maturity, what does it mean to be a father. We've built relationships with different businesses, and those businesses give internship opportunities to these guys. Jason Watson is a man that loves our city. When you think about men that can reach the population, that like he's the guy the guy that shares the same experience, but he's also the guy that has excelled. I love St. Louis, and my heartbeat was to say, man, I spent so much time investing in destroying this city and destroying people's lives that I want to be able to be an agent of change in this city. The catalyst for starting Mission St. Louis to really address systemic poverty the opportunity for quality education for our youth and for our young men and women that do have entrepreneurial aptitude to be able to start businesses. When the economic development engine begins to take off, look out. I think what everyone wants is a better St. Louis. We're a region and everyone just looks at their own little fiefdoms, but St. Louis hopefully is changing that mentality and what happens in one little municipality affects us all as a region, as a community. I feel really honored and privileged for the community I represent here in South Grand. We're probably the most diverse, integrated area. We have 14 countries represented in our business district and about 12 of them are from that country. I believe St. Louis has definitely become more unified the most important piece that was missing from the puzzle is understanding. If you can teach one person to be a better reader or become interested in reading, 
Who's to say what that one individual may grow up to be someday? The positive actually worked out where everyone started working together. A lot of customers have great respect for churches. I think we have to push ourselves past our comfort level. So you may be uncomfortable coming to the north side, but maybe you need to come and talk and sit with some people that are from this area. And when you get to know their narrative, then you understand why they see things the way they see them. Our city is desperate for relationship that divide those lines. There is hope and you, you matter. And in a place like churches has the opportunity to instill that. When we do do that, I think our city transforms. My name is John Alexander. I'm a photographer here in St. Louis and I've been here for 25 years. Some might know me as Jason. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, man, born and raised. Josh Wilson, I'm the executive director and founder of Mission St. Louis. My name is Rachel Witt. I'm the executive director of the South Grand Community Improvement District. I lived in the city of St. Louis now for 10 and a half years. My name is Lakeisha May. I am a training restaurant general manager for Church's Chicken. My name is Dwayne Ingram, and I work for St. Louis Children's Hospital, and I've lived in St. Louis all my life, so 53 years.